Okay, so let's take a look at something that uh, I've messed with for about two hours now, trying to figure out what's wrong. Uh, first of all, let's go through how I have things set up, okay? Um, I'm running an NO2C, two spark plugs, two injectors, okay? And it's going to be for a uh, small engine, lawnmower engine, a Kohler 33 horsepower. So some of the stuff I'm just guessing at. But let's go look at uh, one of the first things we set up here, okay? We have to set it to missing tooth, 24 teeth, crank speed, one tooth is missing, and for right now, trigger angle is 180, but that's not correct, but use that. Uh, I said skip revolutions to zero. I didn't change any of this, but that's what it's currently set at, okay? And then you burn it and close it, okay? Then we go over to uh, engine constants, right? So I go to, this is at map, squirts per engine cycle two. Uh, why? Because I have two injectors. Can you change it? That's what we're going to get into in a second here. Injector staging is alternating. Engine is four stroke, number of cylinders is two. This does nothing, but it is throttle body, so I set it that way. Number of injectors two, because there's one on each side of the throttle body. And you change even fire to odd fire. Make sure you have the correct board selected. Mine is NO2C. Uh, this was default. Uh, injector layout is sequential. This I didn't change. This I've run at 0 and 1800, doesn't seem to matter, and I've got my degrees set at 450 for the offset for uh, cylinder 2, okay, and then you burn that and close it. Then, because I'm using the RJU stem and pumping, uh, you know, RPMs into this thing to see it run, I don't want it to be cranking, I want it to be running, okay, so there's certain things you got to do here. Uh, you go to the spark settings, and uh, we, we have to do this no matter what. Uh, it says map, uh, you don't want wasted spark, you want sequential. And I don't think I changed anything else here. And you burn it and close it. Then you go to the startup idle and you go to crank settings, okay? And this is important. I set it at 110. If you set it any lower, your LEDs may not flash. Right. It seems that the lower RPM it runs, uh, the LEDs actually get dimmer. Like, I don't know why, but that's just way. So set it at 110. That's the only thing I changed there. Burn that and close that. Then make sure that your RJ stem's running higher than 110 RPMs, okay? So it's not cranking down here on the bottom left. It's running. Okay, so with all that said, let me tell you something you do not want to do. Uh, and before I do that, let's go to the fuel settings real quick on the, is it engine constants? Yeah, uh, so one other thing I did here is I went into, you, you see this 14.9, I went to required fuel. And uh, this is not the right cubic inch for the Kohler. This is for the Briggs and Stratton, but it doesn't matter for what we're doing. So you put in 38 cubic inches, or if you know the CCs, you can do that. Number of cylinders, too. Injector flow, I used 140 cc a minute. That's from some math I did earlier. It seems to work, and the fuel ratio I want is 14.7. Okay. Not saying that's all perfect, but that gets these two fields filled out, right? Now, let me tell you something you better not do. See the squirts per engine? You, if you go in the forums, you're going to say, well, I've got to set it, you know, two or three or four, you know, and I was running one, and now I'm running two, Okay. I have no idea what the squirts per engine cycle thing does, but what I do know is, uh, after a lot of testing here, you can really screw up the NO2C and have to completely uh, redo it to make it work again. I mean, you've got to reload. Uh, I'll show you what you got to do. You have to go to your uh, Arduino source code, and you've got to right-click here, open it. I'm not going to actually do this because I've already done it. But it gets so locked up so bad and corrupted somehow if you change that one setting, that you've got to open this up and right click here after you've pulled the little red jumper off so that you can program the board and reload the entire sketch into it. Then you've got to open up uh, Tuner Studio here and you've got to go to File, uh, Load a Tune, and you've got to put the bait default tune back in. Then you've got to go and program all the stuff I just showed you back in there, okay? Uh, and that all came because... Uh, you know, in a lot of forms, it says, well, I've got a squirts per cycle set at one, and I, I just changed it to two. And I'm like, well, i got two things that should have two squirts. Now, I don't know uh, why this is happening. Um, at one point in earlier testing, I did set it to, to one, and what it did was, which was really stupid, it squirted both injectors at the same time because there was only one squirt per cycle. So it needed two. And in some of the forms, they say, oh, I set it to four because it gives it a double squirt um, during the intake. And the second squirt cools off the intake. Well, let's see what happens if I change this. Well, first of all, I get this error message. 
okay? And then I close this, and I go back and open it up, and right now it's working because I haven't rebooted it. Uh, so it says 1. Let's change it to 3. Just close it and come back. And it'll probably work totally differently this time. That See, it's back to 1. It didn't like that at all. But if, you know, it's an even number of injectors, so let's make it 4 so it doubles. And close it. Come back and look at it. 1. Can we get it to go back to 2 like it was? So far it's on 2, but look, I've lost my required fuel, so let's go up there and try and fix that. Uh, okay, and I put it back. Now, right now, because I haven't burned it, you know, we're not getting messed up. If I go in here and screw up and burn these weird settings in here, the board shuts down. <laughs> or... The other thing it does is it keeps sparking and the igniter, the injectors never flash. They just stop working and the only way to fix it is I have to go back and... So let's see if we can actually make it double squared here. Uh, required fuel. So let's say it's this and it'll come up with an error probably. But see, I don't get any milliseconds here. Okay, I need something there. So it doesn't like that. So let's try some other stuff here while y'all are watching me do this. Let me see the injector flow. Well, what if we change the injector flow to 280 so we have bigger injectors to support a double squirt, maybe? I still don't get anything here. I don't know if I'm supposed to, but <clears throat> squirts per cycle four. We want to burn it and see if it breaks my stuff. Right now it's all flashing pretty good. Let's just close it and come back and see what it does. Uh, see that? It didn't keep it. Required fuel. Kept that. There's something it doesn't like here about this. Oh, look, now it's back to squirts per cycle. Close. Went back to one. No, I want four, man. Give me four. Close. Settings. One. What about two? Close. Settings. Two. Hmm. What happens when I go into here? 38 to make this one to 40 again. Now I've got my stuff back. Do I dare burn this and see what happens? Because we haven't changed anything really. Let's try it and see what happens. Let's see. It's all there's nothing changed, so it didn't actually burn anything, I think. But let me reboot it and let's see what happens. Well, okay. Let's see what happens. Well, right now it's still working. Let's see if it connects. Okay, 156, running, not cranking. My lights are flashing correctly. So let's go back up here and see if we can screw this thing up. See, and it could be that when you go past one of these, now, all right, I'm not going to change anything else. It says that we can burn it. Let's burn it and see if I break it. And now all I have is spark plugs. There are no injectors firing. Let's see if it connects. Engine speed 156. It's running. Um, but on my lights, <clears throat> I have no injectors firing on my lights. Okay. And it's look at that. Scorch per engine 1. It does not like that. Can we fix it without having to rebuild it? That's what I've had to do every time so far. But the other times I didn't have communication. Uh, the COM port went down and I couldn't get it to work. So let's try this and see if it works this time. The reason I'm doing this is when you go through the forums, you see a whole lot about, uh, oh, I set it to two squirts per cycle. If you do, you're going to screw it up. Okay, my lights are back. Everything's working. So when you get in here messing with these injectors, um, you've got a two-stroke engine with two injectors, okay, two squirts per engine or two, two squirts per cycle. That's what it needs to be. You mess with this, you're going to screw it up. It ain't going to work, okay? Uh, let's see. So you want to go through my settings one more time just so you can see them, maybe? I don't think you really need to, but we'll let, we'll do it for the heck of it. Okay, so first I do the trigger setup. <clears throat> Missing tooth, 24, crank 1, set it at 180. That's not right, but that's what we're going to use, and all the rest of this. Okay, so we close that. Then we do engine constants, which is where the injectors are. Um, the first thing you do is a required fuel, and I set it to 38 cubic inches, two cylinders, 140 cc, and, and this is just default 14.7, and hit OK, and it'll do the calculations up here. Then I do map two squirts per cycle, which is one per injector per cycle. Injector station, if you do simultaneous, that's bad. They'll both squirt at the same time. They won't be right. It's alternating. Four stroke, two cylinders. This doesn't matter, but it's throttle body. Two injectors, odd fire. Make sure you have the NO2C board. This is just default. 
Injector layout is sequential. Make sure that's right. Uh, cycle average, you can do whatever you want. I've had this at 0 and 800 and 450 degrees and burn that. And uh, then the spark, uh, that's default. Make sure it's sequential. I set this at 0, but that's not right. Okay, and burn that. And then start up idle. We do 110. I don't think I change anything else here. And that's it. And then you hook up your Argus stem and start pumping in anything over 110 RPM. And keep in mind that the Argus stem, if you tell it 80, it does 100. If you do 100, it does 120. Because it does 20% more than what you say. And you got to have at least uh, something greater than 110, or it's going to say cranking down here, where it says not cranking instead of running. And if it's cranking, it's doing things differently, possibly with the spark plugs and injectors, than if it's running. Okay, so the big takeaway from this is don't screw with this squirt per cycle. If you've got one injector, it's one. If you've got two injectors, it's two on these little engines. Okay, otherwise, I think you're going to have big problems. And you may have to reburn your entire board and load a new tune and reprogram everything.